Now, a couple of weeks ago, Louise Simons faced every mother's nightmare when she found her 12-month-old baby, Danielle, lying dead in her cot. I'm very pleased to say that they're both here today, along with uh, John Roberts, and the story will unfold as we go along. But what did you do? What was your immediate reaction? How did you find her? I actually went into the room to put some iron in away. Danielle was having a normal morning nap. I went in the room to put the iron in away, thinking that she'd be fast asleep and I won't disturb her if I go in now. And um, she was face down in the cot where she usually is, which just where she gets comfy. And I turned her over to get her warm because her little feet felt a bit cold. And as I turned her over, her face was blue, her mouth was blue, and her head just flopped back. And there was just no movement in her what whatsoever. What on earth did you do? I started to shake her quite vigorously. I'm surprised I didn't snap her neck in half. I shook her that much. Um, just really to try and bring her around and not honestly believe myself that she wasn't breathing. Well, then you dialed 999, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I went over to the, the phone in Danielle's room. Went over to the phone and dialed 999. And I think actually now's the time that uh, this lucky lady has a, a big thank you to him. We're going to hear now a recording of that actual phone call to, for you to John on uh, a couple of weeks ago. Let's have a listen. Head flopping backwards, not a lot, just a little bit. Yes, you know, just a bit. Flopping. Right, okay. Now put your mouth over her mouth and nose and blow in gently. Blow in the mouth. Blow in the mouth and nose gently. Okay, so her chest rises a little bit. Okay. Have you done that? Right, has she done anything? Um, no. Okay, do it again. Okay. Okay, is she breathing, yeah? No. No, okay. Take two fingers, put them in the middle of the chest, right? Yes. And press gently about five times, quickly. <laughs> okay. Yes. Is she doing anything now? No. Okay. Like you did before, twice. In her mouth. In her mouth and nose. No. no. Okay. With your fingers again in the middle of the chest, 15 times quickly. <laughs> you got more quicker than that, love. Right. She doesn't. Her arms move. Her arms are moving. Her arms are moving. Okay. Her arms are moving. Great. Okay. Her chest isn't moving, though. No. Sorry? The juice isn't moving, right. No. Okay, now then, take one of her arms and the muscle at the top, move it to one side and see if you can feel a pulse. She's moving her arms again. She's moving her arms again? Yeah. Okay, she's moving her arms, she must be breathing. Right. Okay, and her heart must be working. All right? Yeah. Is her arms still moving? Yeah, got her. Yeah. Is that her clear? Yeah. Okay. Sit down and relax now. Okay. Sit down and relax. The ambulance is on the way. We're going to take her to hospital. <sighs> ah, what an incredible... You, congratulations. Thank you for doing it. This little girl is still bawling loudly, which is wonderful. I know you just need a, a time to take a breath. How did you stay so calm throughout all of that? Um, <clears throat> not very easily, Gabby. Um, Inside, I was really torn apart by what was going on the other end of the phone. It's not something I've ever done before, taught somebody. You haven't? You've never done that before? No. Uh, my normal job is, is working on an ambulance. And it just so happened, because of an accident I had earlier in the year, I was on light duties in the control room. Walking past that phone as the call came through, it was handed over to me. And it took some hard work to keep calm and to talk to Louise the way that I did because I realised that if I'd have started to, to break up or get anxious over the phone, Louise would have, wouldn't have been able to carry out the instructions I was giving her. You're an incredibly brave man and thank you for doing that and a very brave lady and um, how can you say thank you to somebody? I can't you know, it's worth, thank you isn't enough, is it? No, no. Both of you though, thank you from us for being here today and you and for crying loudly because that's what we love to hear.